Hi everyone and welcome to this webinar about student life in Sweden and particularly in Trolletan at, at and at University West. Together with me I have Veronica who studies at our School of Business and IT here at University West and I have Shivang who, who studies engineering here at University West. So today we will take you through a bit of personal experiences but also a bit about Sweden in general. So Veronica will start to introduce you to the country that is Sweden and then we will move on to the more personal parts. And with us we also have Maddie who's behind the scenes and she will help you with any questions that are not particularly related to this webinar but that you might have uh, regarding studying in Sweden in general and if you want to ask questions during the webinar that is totally fine you should just raise your hand in the zoom and then you will be able to ask questions in the chat uh, so with that um, Veronica please take us through your presentation thank you so much Eva so hi everyone also from my side um, Let's skip to the next slide about Sweden. Um, Sweden is a great or study destination, a great country to study in. Just so that you know where Sweden is, have a look onto the map. It's in Europe, the northern part. Uh, neighbor countries are Denmark, Norway, Finland, and well, Iceland's not directly neighbor, but yeah, well, fair enough. The Nordics. Um, Sweden is a great study destination because it is a safe and modern and organized society. So you'll not face any problems with crime and I don't know, unstructured um, things. So you'll you'll be safe, so to say. Um, Sweden also has on, written on their flag, so to say, uh, a big respect for civil freedom and equal equality and diversity. Um, there is not going to be a big language barrier because basically everyone on the streets speaks proper English and if you compare that to other countries you're not going to face any language barriers. Um, we have a beautiful nature and a rich history around so if you want to go for a hike or anything you'll always can do that and it's to any and time of year, nice to be outside. Um, it's an innovative country. Um, it's home to a lot of international businesses. Later on, we're going to have a slide with all the companies that are very well known internationally. And you maybe didn't know that they are actually from Sweden. Um, we have an excellent public transport system. So wherever you want to go, um, you'll not struggle if you don't have a car or anything, individual transportation. Um, it is Sweden has an internationally very well known education system. If you rank Sweden as a study country or a study destination in the international rankings, they are always listed underneath the uh, top five um, study destinations. So it depends a little bit on to which um, ranking you look at, but it, it's always underneath the top five. And then um, it's always informal and you're always independent and um, motivated to act independently. Yeah, and regarding inf the informality, we are going to have a look later on on the slide. So next slide, um, Swedish Fika. Um, when you start studying here, you're definitely, definitely been, uh, sorry. When you start studying here, you will definitely um, be confronted with that word and that just means that you have a coffee with, with friends and you're going to be social so in case you just want to drop by at university west you're very welcome we have a fika with all our or many of our international students every tuesday at four so if you just want to visit us you're very welcome um Yes, so here as promised there we have a lot of swedish companies that are um, started up here in Sweden and they are very well known internationally. I mean, who hasn't heard of Spotify or Ikea or Volvo? So maybe you haven't known that those are actually from Sweden. Um, yeah, let's go to Trollhättan, which is the city where University West is located in. Um, there you have some pictures on the slide. Um, we have the channel here, which is really nice to be at, and there is also cafes and restaurants along the channel. As I said, 
we have beautiful hiking trails and pretty nature there and uh, overview from on top yeah um, you can also see on the slide so Trollhättan is not um, in or in, in in international comparison not the um, biggest city however it's really nice since you have everything you need around um, and it's not that anonymous as like super big cities I mean um, Gothenburg is close by but also a lot bigger so if you want to have some more cities we can change here to the next slide there you can see the difference between uh, Trollhättan and Gothenburg um, so you can go there by train within 35 minutes it's definitely doable however however Trollhättan is the cozier city so to say yes um i think i said a lot of the slide already um we have 60,000 inhabitants um there is not going to be a lot of traffic issues so everything you need is close by and also the high-tech industries are located here in Trollhättan. Um, there we can also go a little bit deeper, deeper into the headquarters of the following companies are located here um, so yeah you're there you're gonna have a lot of contact to them or if you study in that field that's definitely gonna be possible all right um, moving on to my personal experience as a student here. Um, so I am studying in my bachelor's currently. I'm in my last year. So the third year, I'm currently writing my thesis and soon done. <laughs> um, I study international uh, politics and economics at, or it's un a program underneath the School of Business and Economics. Um, originally, I'm from Bavaria in Germany. Um, I've studied before at uh, university in Vienna um, in Austria, um, but that was only one year, so kind of a gap year. And now I'm also planning to continue my studies um, after my bachelor's here in Sweden because I was very satisfied with the um, studying experience and yeah, how the teachers are, so to say, or in student life. Um, so why University West? I think my choice of University West was actually not really related to Trollhättan or this specific university. It was more because of the program. It is a quite unique program that combines politics and economics uh, in the bachelor's degree. So my choice was limited. Either I was uh, choosing UK, Netherlands or Sweden. And then I thought, well, yeah, Nordic sounds good. Um, I've heard good things about them. And yeah, let's study here. Um, I had previous ex or experience through my um, high school diploma in politics and economics, and I wanted to go further in that field. Um, and also Sweden has a high sustainability standard and is, as I said, amongst the top five uh, countries of education which makes the choice of Trollhättan also a good choice. Um, right, studying in Sweden. Um, what, when it comes to experience with my teachers and so on, I was very satisfied since in University of Vienna, Vienna I was used to that the teachers don't really have time for you if you have questions and you're just, a little cog in the machinery so to say um, but here it's a lot more individual and if you have questions you can always go to the teachers and also a funny thing about Swedish culture is you would approach your teachers always with uh, their first name so it's very informal you can always just drop into their office I mean obviously they have office hours but they are very welcome and they can always answer your questions um, which definitely helps the learning process. Then here is also the service center and the people there are always super helpful and friendly and um, they can always help you further also with IT support, um, which can be often a barrier. <laughs> then um, I really like the familiar atmosphere on campus. As I said, it's not too big of a university, but um, the perfect size to have many friends around and to feel home at the university 
And in case there should be some time a problem with the teacher, there is always the student union where you can go to and where the students actually have also the power to raise their voice, what they think about their um, courses or, or about their teachers. So if there is any problem, you always have someone to talk to. Um, how are studies in Sweden different? So um, what I hear often and I can also agree on is that it's a lot of student driven, driven and you have to um, participate and input things in order to make the entire thing work. So um, you have to work independently, but also in smaller groups. Um, so we have a lot less lectures in that sense than compared to in other countries. Uh, I mean, there you would have like full schedules only with lectures. Here it's about you have three hours lectures three times a week, for example, and then the rest is individual studies. Um, yes, but also a very positive part of the Swedish education system is that you have one course at a time. So um, you don't have to focus on six courses at the same time, so to say, and then you have a whole pile of exams to write at the end of the semester. No, you have one course, then you have an exam, then you have another course, then you have another exam, and so on and so forth until the semester is ended. And then there is not a pile of exams to write at the end. Right, so this is just to illustrate the different forms of um, yeah, teaching, so to say. It's a lot of self-studies, but also, of course, lecture halls and, um, yeah, corona and the pandemic was here, so a lot of Zoom classes too. So in my program specifically, we also have teachers from abroad, so this is also why we have Zoom classes a lot. Right, um, let's talk about the campus here at University West. Um, we have newer and older buildings, but definitely all the buildings are um, fresh and they, they look nice and they're permanently um, happy to improve the campus and they are also taking um, ideas from student sites. Um, we have a modern library and with a lot of plants and like lights, that's really nice. And also a, um, different study landscapes um, across the cam campus. So to say, if it's too crowded in the library for some reason during exam periods or something, you can always spread out through the campus and find a quiet spot to study. We also have a restaurant and two cafes um, on campus. Um, the student union is also on campus, so it's all close by. Um, we have different exhibitions in the hallways and um, yes, and the PTC, so that uh, I think Shivang is going to cover later on. Um, so on the map you can see only the main campus, the PTC would be a little bit further away, but it's also doable by foot. I guess it's 20 minutes walk or something. Um, yeah, so here on the map you can see the main campus and pretty much everything is going to be around here except for the PTC, which is the technology part. So only if you're studying engineering or something related with that, you will be in the PTC. So to illustrate all of that, I have some pictures for you. Um, so to the upper left corner, there is the entrance area. And yeah, well, just some uh, ideas how the campus looks and um, the lecture hall there to the right is one of the very modern ones and the, um, I also had a lot of lectures in there and it's really nice. Right, um, work integrated learning. So University West has um, one of their or advantages is that they work with work integrated learning which is that you don't only study you also get work experience. So you can do internships or there is um, um, events organized with um, organizations and companies around so there you can just get connections to world after um, studies to get a job and to also get more experience and to have research more down to the ground. I also um, have done an internship at the Thai Swedish Chamber of Commerce in Bangkok 
Um, so I've done that last semester and it was a great experience. You can go abroad or you can also do your internship in Sweden, wherever. Um, so the process would be you do your internship, you go to work every day and then you have to write some reports at the side um, and you get credits for it. So that is a great opportunity to um, get work experience within your studies. Yeah, and then here I brought some pictures from Bangkok, so that was a great experience. We were at the at different um, um, events where different companies joined, and it was a good op or opportunity and possibility to make connections to potential employers. Um, student union and student politics. As I said before, if you have like any problems with your teachers, with your courses, or you feel unfairly treated, you can always go to the um, student union and they're going to help you. Um, you can get member or you should get member of the student union. Um, and they also put on a lot of activities and organize things for student life. When you arrive here, um, they have uh, like a big introduction week or basically two. And there every day is an activity and that's just the start, so to say, to find friends here and to get settled here. Um, it's a platform to get active yourself, to, yeah, make your dreams come true, so to say, and to meet friends. <laughs> right, and this is some pictures from the student union. So we also have different events, like those to the left were um, some more fancy events, but also we have just pubs and parties where you just go with jeans, so to say, but also a big um, student union thing in all over Sweden is the overalls that you can see to the right. Later on, there is going to be more student overalls visible. So um, you you get one when you join the student union and then you can sew on patches um, and show at which parties you've been and what you or your overall should just um, represent your personality, so to say. So here you see a whole bunch of more overalls and they are actually in every color. So here it's mostly white and purple, but they are also, in, uh, depending on which comedy or what field of study you do, you have a different color on your overall. So yeah, and we've done um, different ex or excursions with the student union and of course pubs and parties. Um, living in Sweden, accommodation. Um, so the international office provides accommodation. So when you come here as an international student, you'll just have to fill out a form or read your emails. They will communicate through that channel, so to say. Um, and then all you have to do is just sign the contract and pay your rent, so to say. You don't have to worry about um, accommodation. So that is a very big, big, big plus point here at um, University West because uh, at other places students are struggling a lot to get accommodation because it is hard to get it and also with if you don't have all the Swedish bureaucracy like a personal number and all those things it can get very tricky so it's great that the international office provides that service uh -huh. um, and then yeah you'll be set from beginning on and this is some um, examples of my student accommodation that I was living in. Um, living in Sweden, as I said, everyone speaks English. It's not hard to communicate and to get around. Um, everyone is helpful and it's, you're never gonna stand somewhere and, oh, I don't get help from anyone. Can be that Swedes are sometimes a little tricky to get friends with. That's, you know, the stereotype, but, you know, just give them a little more time they'll warm up with you <laughs> then the spare time things that you can do is hiking hang out with friends go to pub crawls in town which are also organized by the student union um, shopping opportunities are close by and around if you want to go a little further bus and trains there's always um, possible Gothenburg is a big big city so yeah um you can be student union active, you can go ice skating, for example, is for free. And the list could be that long. I don't have that much time. <laughs> um, so the gym is also very loved by students. And I mean, swimming is also really nice because a lot of lakes and the sea and 
everything is close by. Yeah, um, Tarlatan is a cute and smaller city, um, as I said, everything is close by in Gothenburg too. I think I'm repeating myself. So here we get some pictures. Um, this is uh, the two lake pictures, those are by car, maybe 10 minutes away from letter 15, more 10. Um, so there is barbecue places where you can have barbecues with your friends or yeah, the uh, waterfalls there are directly in Trollhättan located. There you can go by foot and take a hike. Um, and also sometimes in winter we have snow, so we're a little bit too southern to have too much snow. So there we're not the typical Swedish stereotype. And then this is some um, ideas about Trollhättan. This is the main square to the upper left corner. Yeah, just some impressions. Um, then there is also a lot of trips that you can do. Um, for example, you can go to the north of Sweden. Most students want to do that. Kiruna is the most northern, bigger city, so to say. I've also done courses in Umeå um, because you can choose um, to take other courses from other Swedish universities. You just have to, you know, talk with your program coordinators and they let you do that. So I wanted to do that because I wanted to see the Northern Lights and that was really cool. <laughs> you can also go to Stockholm. Um, we also went with the student union there um, and also private. You can go to Gotland that is on the other side um, of Sweden, which is a nice island. Um, road trips through Sweden are really cool. You can go to Copenhagen or Oslo, which is uh, Norway or Denmark, which is close by by train. Um, or the West Coast is definitely also worth a visit. And there I have some pictures from the trip. Um, so here to the right, there is Stockholm um pictures and to the left that's the west coast um yes and then here we have some gotland impressions as you can see with the student union that's always a good place to go to to do a lot of activities yeah and to the right there is norway and the northern cape and the uh, lofoten and there that was really cool trips that you should definitely do too when you're studying here. And this is some Umeå uh, impressions with the Northern Lights. So also if you get the chance to take some courses um, somewhere else, you're given the chance here, so take it. <laughs> and this is how your arrival here could look. So this is how it uh, looked for me, so to say. Um, you're gonna get picked up from other students and student representatives at the train station um, and the airport. So they, they're waiting for you and then you get transferred to the next station and they always provide help, whatever you need. I think I talked a lot now. Um, at this point, I would say thank you for your attention and hand over to Shivang and the questions we're gonna do at the end of our presentation. So, thank you for your attention. Thank you, Veronica. <laughs> so, hello. So, me, I'm Shivang Parmar, and basically I'm from India. And from 2013 to 17, I did my bachelor's in mechanical engineering. And then I also had a professional job experience for four years. So, like one year, I did some like, pro, uh, like a production engineer, and then for the remaining three years, like a QC control engineer. And then I thought I should like do something more like master's or something. So I decided to go somewhere else and then I decided to go to Sweden. So in September 21, I came here for my master's, which is a two year program. And right now I'm in my last semester doing my thesis work at PTC. So why Sweden? Uh, basically, Sweden was like not in my list, but by fluke and it's a, like a long story. I got over here, but I'm really lucky that I'm here. And why this course manufacturing? Because I already did my bachelor's in mechanical and I really, really want to go further with that field only and the courses provided here are very like I mean dynamic and all so like we have like some practical experience with the, all this stuff so definitely yes so university wise that's why also and how are studies different in Sweden so as Vernika already mentioned uh, it's not like just bookish knowledge like okay just the le I mean everyday lectures and all so we have some labs some research to do like get to know by ourselves some research papers and all this stuff 
it's very flexible so it's not like more pressure you work at your own pace so at the end you get a good result i suppose which i'm really happy for that so about the word in work integrated learning so i mean is i can say this this is the one of the like best thing the university best has so beside the just the bookish knowledge we can we should always think out, out of the box so with the books and all we also have the practical knowledge that's the best thing so like what are you studying and at the time what are you like the working is combined so so get the like proper knowledge like what are you doing and like where you want to go in the life so me myself i'm already a student employee so i already do my thesis at ptc and also i like work in the ptc as an employee so the best thing is like we get to know about the more companies together because in our project we are like many foreign companies so we may, we make more contacts we know how the real world works so i mean yeah that's the, i mean the main thing what we want like so what is the future plan for that so i mean so yes and you get and you can also go to like some other places to do some like small internships or project and the university based professor are so good like they will give you contacts and help you a lot so i mean it's just a really nice thing and yes about the student life like what we all like want the in, in, i mean in our this thing so as you can see the picture says it all so like we go to pubs we play we party we do study also yes and you can see that so oh, i mean everything we do like the university pubs and so i mean you will never feel like oh you're away from home and all this stuff you will find all the people are really kind and helpful so you will like get into themselves so easily so i think it really turned out very well for me and i hope so the students who are coming here will also experience the same thing as well and uh, yes that's all i mean it was mine this is the short thing for me and if you have any questions just feel free to ask so are we seen i just want to make sure that we are all are seen yeah, okay. on screen before <laughs> starting the question portion hmm. So thank you so much for the presentations, guys. And I want to give you, the viewers, the opportunity to ask questions. I've seen you've asked questions during the webinar as well. But if you have any more particular questions, you can send them now. And in the meantime, I have a couple of questions that you might not have thought about that I think are good. So we talked a bit about work integrated learning mm -hmm. um, and I feel like it sometimes can be a hard like concept to figure out. Uh, do you guys have any like practical experience on what work integrated learning means? Do you have like company contacts during class or what does it mean for you in your studies? So you, you go first. <laughs> okay, so like the thing is like what we study then we have in that mind that okay i have studied this thing and when will i do a job i'll manage it but that's not the thing the real world is like totally different from the bookish knowledge so like the things you are studying and the things that you study are you already working on that thing mm. so it's the balance of theory plus practical knowledge mm. so i mean you just grow yourself i mean i can just say that only so it's like it's not like then you have to like figure it out or if you've got a job or now i don't know the stuff then what to do but you already have the experience and mm. practice and also the, about the company's contacts i mean there are like many international companies which i'm also like working with so like you need to know like okay which companies might be doing the I mean, which if i want to go in a particular field like which companies are there but now you already know some companies you know some personal contacts and mm. that stuff so it really makes your life like easy you like enjoy the work and study so it's i mean i think the mm. be best thing so yeah it makes you feel a bit more comfortable yeah, with confident actually also, like, finishing like, your study. Yeah, and like confidence is the best thing. Like when I'm working with some companies, I'm like, yeah, I mean, you feel confidence. I mean, mm. it's really nice. So, yeah. 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 I guess my um, closest contact to work into creative learning was the internship. And um, yeah, during that um, or during any internship, you just get to know what it actually means to work within your field. Um, and then obviously you make contacts with like potential employers and maybe you get a um, job afterwards. And I think also the fact that both of us are mm. student employees, only mm. that is thanks to the concept of work integrated learning. So mm. since the university is so eager with that concept, they are also happy to employ students during their studies. Mm. So 
How would you like describe the experience of campus, like environment? You mentioned a bit about uh, the informal like yeah. environment with the teachers, but how would you describe like the student environment? Is there a lot of international students? How does uh, that feel? Frankly speaking, you you will never feel like you are at some unknown place. In the beginning, okay, like we just interact, and I mean, I can say the next day we are like close friends. I mean, it's so easy to get through. I mean, with them, and it's just. Also, the, like the international students, the Swedish people are really like kind and polite. So that's also one of the best things. And about the campus, they are like always helpful. The professors are like quick response you get every time you just ask them, either via mail or if you are like a bit closer, they also like reply you via your personal message or mm. phone calls too. And it's n we never feel like oh, it's like a professor or a sir. It's just like a friend we are talking to. So it's like more easy. So we can we can express ourselves so easily. So we don't have some pressure. Okay, like should I ask this or not? It's just like friends, mm. you just go and ask and so it's mm. really nice, yeah. That's nice to hear. Yeah. I absolutely agree with what you said. Mm -hmm. And um, also regarding the internationalization of the campus, um, I would say it's more Swedish students on campus than international, but the numbers are like always increasing. And also when you come here as an international student, you're sharing your um, daily issues, so to say, with other international students, so you can easily connect with others and figure out, oh, how have they been thinking about that, or what's like solution to this? So you'll you'll definitely find a big international hub in the university. That's nice to hear. So when coming to Sweden, a pretty unknown country for some, what was the biggest adjustment, or was there any? Who? <laughs> <laughs> That's a tricky question. For me, I think only the weather was a big issue, like mm. the place from where I come from, it's literally warmer and it's really cold. Regarding the other things like, say, like normal living and all, it went so easy, like I didn't feel like a stranger country as I mentioned before. So, I mean, yeah, like personally, I didn't feel any like more, just, like say, bigger issues. It's just the weather. I mean, I mean, mm. else I can't say any, I don't have any comments on that. So mm. it's a really nice thing. Yeah. But. yeah. That's a tricky question. So in, <laughs> in comparison to Germany, it's not a huge difference. So the weather is pretty much the oh, same. Yeah, <laughs> um, yeah, so I mean, it's it's small things like small cultural, like minor differences. But I mean, you'll you'll find that during the way your way and no one is upset with you if you um, do a mistake or I mean you're talking English or I assume that most international students come with English here mm -hmm. so then everyone sees oh well maybe you're not familiar with the concept and no one is like upset oh well you didn't do that mm. <laughs> yes the language was the best thing like everyone speaks English is the mm. we, we never get in trouble somebody first talk okay that person replies in English back so it's so easy oh. yeah so that's, that's nice yeah. feel a bit safer yeah. when you know you can be understood mm -hmm. I saw that we got a question in the chat about place uh, to worship and I'm not from Trolletan but I know about Trolletan and we have a lot of mosques and churches and we also have like private rooms on campus for like uh, private times to pray and stuff so that is completely possible to do in Sweden and I would say in all of Sweden in every city but it, particularly in Trolletan as well. Um. Yes, we do support special needs for students. We have in Sweden in general, I would say that we have a lot of uh, uh, like help to get uh, while mm -hmm. you study and we have like support systems at campus. You can just ask anyone at the international office for that, the particulars. Uh, but yes, we do uh, uh, support special needs. I can add on yeah. there. Um, also, in my class, when we're writing exams, there is always a possibility to be in like a smaller and more quiet room if you're uh, not able to focus when it's a lot of people and a lot of like paper noises, so to say, around. You can always get a smaller room. And yes, there is definitely adjustments made. Yeah, so I would say like if you are sick and they are super adjustable, they will just tell you, okay, you can just be at your place and you can do it on your laptop. I mean, it's a good and a bad part, like they trust you so much. So, yeah. yeah, that's good. Yeah, yeah. So. And I would say like the Swedish community in general yeah. are mm -hmm. very like we talk a lot about supporting special mm -hmm. needs, not only in school and with studying, but also like physical spaces in the city and cities uh, in mm -hmm. general, I would say. Uh, okay, so when you came to Sweden, did anything surprise you? 
Were there any culture shocks? <laughs> <laughs> yes, they are so silent, they are so quiet, and so disciplined. Oh, okay. Yes, it was a shock for me, a bit. <laughs> yeah, that's true as long as they're not in a pub, but uh, yeah, as that's soon as there's yeah. alcohol involved. <laughs> yeah. They're super socialized at that time. So. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. I guess it's it's small things. I was surprised that the moose sign actually exists on the streets. <laughs> like attention, the moose is run around. So, but I have only seen twice a moose so far. So. Okay, but that's on, pretty on streets, often. So. If you, I don't think every Swede has seen a moose, but in Trolletan, I guess we have a couple since yeah. we have a lot of woods around. <laughs> I've actually seen one as well, but only like once or twice. No, yeah. they're huge. Yeah, they are. They are. <laughs> yeah. But a fun thing to mention while we're talking about moose and the woods and stuff, we have in Sweden a thing called Allemansrätten. I'm not sure how you translate it, but it means that everyone can be everywhere anytime, and not maybe in a proximity to someone's house, but in the woods, we don't mm. have any like private areas. So you can swim anywhere, you can walk any trails without paying, you can have access to all public areas mm. all the time. So let's see if we have any, uh, is it possible to work while studying? I guess, do you guys have any like tips or insights? Yes, like I am a student employee. So I'm studying and I'm also like working on a project, which in, yes, as I mentioned, like it's a project and in which various companies are involved. So yes, we, I, we, yes, we can study and work together. So, and it's on the college and on the campus it, itself. So like we need to like find something else. And also it's related to our studies. Mm. So that's the best part, yeah. I mean. Yeah. But you're studying and you're working on that thing only and you're getting paid too. So mm. that's a win-win. Yeah. Mm. Absolutely, I agree. It was easy to fit it in um, to the daily life, so to say, because the lecture times are quite limited. So, and I mean, the rest you'll have to do on your own. Um, so then you can also time it as you need it so if you say you work during the day and then you study more in the evenings or you can also turn it around mm. so you're free in how you schedule things mm. and they are really flexible with the time so they will like never like pressurize you or force you okay you know, this time they will ask you okay you tell me your time so it's super flexible so at least like you work at your own pace so it's super comfortable so with that thing like we are a bit chilled and we can work more better also with that environment mm. so yes that's a, that's nice to hear yeah. Do you guys have a lot of uh, lectures that are on distance and are those, if so, recorded? So you can watch them in advance? So like right now I just have the thesis, but when I was having my courses, also they are so flexible as I mentioned you. So uh, they are doing on a hybrid mode. So those who want to come to the physical class, they can come over there. Or those who are like say, sick or don't want to, I, or some, some reasons they cannot. So they can also do their classes on Zoom as well so it's mm. hybrid and it's flexible mm. yeah. absolutely so in my program we often have professors from other countries um so most of the time we have um, lectures on campus and i mean during COVID, it was more mm -hmm. online so that is not a surprise um, but also now we have from time to time zoom classes um and if they're recorded or no, it really depends on the professor. So mm. you you never know if it's <laughs> going to be recorded or no. So usually they make a statement at the beginning of the course. Yes, I will record or no, I won't record. So and I would like to say something like uh, teachers sometimes ask us that do you want to record? So if we say yes, then it does. So okay. it's, yeah. they are also like very friendly and yeah. just just tell them they will do so. OK, <laughs> yeah, just so it depends open. a yeah. bit, but usually yeah. they can accommodate yes, yes, yes. if you want them to. Yes, yes. Even if one student says he will do it, so it's just super friendly. Yeah, that's nice yeah. to hear. Yeah. So we'll just see if we have any questions. Um, I could just quickly answer the one about cybersecurity. Yes, we do have a master's in cybersecurity that is actually open for late application right now. Um, and I, we got a question of how much you can work during your studies. And since both, I think Veronica especially mentioned that the classes are very flexible. We don't have any like long mm. days, but usually it takes 40 hours a week yes. to study. Yes. That's usually what we say, mm -hmm. yeah. but then how much you can work depends on maybe from week to week or how would how much would you say in hours you're able to work? So basically the contract says 25% employment. Yeah. So okay. the contract is like 24%, so like two hours per day, mm -hmm. they are fine. So okay. I mean, it's not like too much load also, so we can 
do all the activities mm. so it's equally yeah. balanced everything is balanced yeah. so yeah. Yeah. same for me also mm. my contract says 25% mm. and yes only because you don't have a lot of lectures doesn't mean that you mm. don't need the time it mm. is mm. it is important to not forget to schedule learning sessions mm. so to yeah. say but 25% i think is a mm. is a good measure yeah uh, so how do you usually, how does your day look? Do you have a routine or does every day look different or like from morning to evening? How would you say your day looks here in Sweden? Like now I can say it's like a bit routine because you know, okay, you have a lot of stuff to do. Okay, so you're already like planned. Okay, I'll do this, do that. So sometimes they're a bit surprising. Yeah, <laughs> but in general it's like normal routine, like say, like for me PTC and if I have some SI sessions, I come to uni and that, so it's to and back, I mean, mm. to, to and fro, but it's a normal routine, you will get you, used to it and you will like it, so, yeah. and being busy is a good thing, like, just to be, like, at home and thinking and something else, so it's good to be busy and, yeah, yes. exactly, mm. um, I would say my days look different every day, <laughs> I don't know, um, so often I just, have one day where I fully work and then I don't study that day at all and then the other days I study more. Um, it really depends. Um, it, it depends on the day, so to say, and also depends on the course. Since um, you have like different courses every like month, it changes the course. And some courses are more demanding, some courses are less so. And then you can also say, well, those weeks I really have to study now, otherwise I get fully overwhelmed. And then you put the work a little bit more on the side and then other courses are, well, I can do this. Or it also depends on mm. what you're better at personally and what you're worse at. So it really depends on yeah. the course. Uh, you mentioned that studies in Sweden are quite different uh, in particular. Um, I usually hear that group works. We have we work a lot in groups. Mm -hmm. Is that something you experience as well? Yes, that's true, and that's a good part. So, like, because as I said, like after we finish our school, we have to work in a real world, and there you won't get the options. Yeah. So you have to work with some particular group, and so if we are like experiencing that kind of like how to manage ourselves from now only. Mm -hmm. So yeah, it's beneficial and good. So all positive things only. Yeah. yeah. Absolutely. Also in our mm. program, we worked a lot with the group works. Also right now I'm writing my thesis as you are too. Um, so, and we're at the bachelor's level actually writing in teams. So I have a um, thesis writing colleague, so to say, and we both write on the thesis. And I mean, that gives you also qual qualities that you're going to need in work life to be able to work with someone that maybe you haven't chosen. So you just have to make it work mm. so it is definitely a quality that is going to be needed later on like a personality development also like we mm. improve ourselves like exactly. how to behave or like like uh, yeah, mm. personal development yeah, kind of. yeah. Mm. so do you study a lot of um together with other people only in class or do you do that on your like free time as to say also do you sit in groups a lot Yes, uh, it depends. Sometimes we can say as on the subjects also. So sometimes we prefer like, okay, let's just, let me just be myself and study. And some things which require like a lot of knowledge and research. So if we are in a group also, so like it's not that I, I will know everything. So I might know something, he might know something. So we share the knowledge and that's the great part and the outcome is really nice. So mm. we share the knowledge. So yeah. both is necessary, like mm. personal and group also. So. Mm. Uh, we get a couple of questions I see about uh, expenses and we have pages mm -hmm. on our website about that in particular. But uh, we got the, a question about working besides studies. Would you say like how does your like expenses look? Do you have enough money to live or how does that like feel to be honest? <laughs> I'm glad to have my job at the side <laughs> to yes. be honest. So in comparison to other European countries, the living expenses are higher. Um, so it's nice to have a little bit of income at the side. Um, but yes, you also get a lot more. So like from society, I mean, there is, um, there is like certain services that you don't have to pay for. For example, ice skating, you can go every day ice skating and you don't have to pay anything, which is really nice. And you just have to 
find the spots where you mm. get the cheap cherries, so <laughs> to say. Um, and also you can buy things secondhand. So if you if you take those things into consideration, it's doable, really. Mm. For me, like, yes, as I have this employment job, so it's like helping me a lot. And frankly speaking, to be a non-EU person, so definitely it is going to be more expensive because of the exchange rate and all this stuff. And also like besides this employment or that we have some like some jobs that if someone wants and has free time, they can definitely find it. It's easy to find. So they can, I think, manage their living, I suppose. Mm. Yeah. yeah. Okay, so how does it feel being away from home? You guys both been here in Sweden quite a long time. Have you, are you used to it now? Or how did it feel in the beginning being quite far away, especially yeah. for you, Shimon? So like, since I came, I haven't been back to my, I mean, to my home. If I really want to soon, let's see. But in the beginning, I was like missing a bit. But now when you are like busy, so you bit forget that things and also, yeah, but I do sometimes when I'm like home alone like I feel like I'm oh my home and all this stuff I miss a lot but but I have like a new family over here so it's like really nice so I don't feel that thing much so mm. it's really nice thing mm. yeah the I friend, yeah the friends like no. they are the family so it's huge so it's nice I mean yeah I agree just mm. get a lot of friends and mm. be involved in student mm. activities and don't get bored that's the worst thing mm. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. yeah so as long as you are in society out there, you're not going to face any struggles. I can imagine. Okay, that's good to hear then. Yeah. So um, we are running to, um, our, we're soon going to end, but we have, you have a couple of more minutes if you want to ask any more questions for Veronica and Siobhan. And also I want to mention that we have an email address. So if you come up with questions afterwards or you thought that you didn't get a proper answer, you can always send us an email and we will get back to you there. Um, but before we end, do you have any like tips for anyone wanting to study here, preparations or what to think about and what to expect maybe? Maybe I think English would be like a general question for the English test. But like for me, I didn't give any kind of examination like IELTS or something because the criteria like I have studied throughout the, my English medium and I got like proper grades. So I haven't had to like give an exam. So it was really nice thing. It's just like oh, so just apply and get the admission. So it was so easy for me. Else preparation. I mean, if you are if you, if you have studied something and you want to go in that field only, then you won't find any new surprise. But the good thing like you will like have a lot more to explore over here because students like really like more into research and development on the stuff and they're like also very technologically advanced so you will find really more interesting and wider options for your career or future hmm. yeah yeah um improve your english um save some money to oh, yeah. make some trips around um yeah and then otherwise just look forward to the experience yeah, and don't bring, be too scared <laughs> just bring good mood and everything yeah. will be fine yeah, yeah that's good to yeah. hear mm. so um what are your future plans now you're both writing your thesis yeah. um what are you planning to do when you're done with school so definitely now i want to stay in sweden so either i'll go for a phd or a job like whatever is like available like if there's opening for phd i'll definitely go for phd or job for sure. So I want to be here. Stay, you, will you stay in Trollhättan as well, or maybe why maybe different your horizon? Maybe it's a different city, but mm. in Sweden for sure. Okay. Yeah. What about you, Veronica? I'm also planning on staying in Sweden. I'm going to do my master's degree because, yeah, I'm finishing now with bachelor's. Mm. Um, I applied to some universities around, so to say, and also University West for my master's. Um, and then we'll see who accepts mm. <laughs> my yeah. application. Yeah. But we are holding our thumbs. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, that's, thank you so much for the mm. presentation. And thank you everyone for your questions. And I want to, again, if you feel like you need some more answers from us or you didn't have the chance to ask it, we have the email address here on screen, but you can also find it in the chat if you want to copy it from there and you will find it on our website uh, universitywest.se and uh, 
the presentation will be able uh, will be um, we will post it online both on our webpage but also on YouTube and if you are su subscribed to our newsletter you will be able to see it through there so you won't uh, you can see it again and again if you want to if you felt like you zoned out a bit or anything so once again thank you so much Shivangi and Veronica it was a great pleasure having you here thank you. and I saw you got a lot of shares in the chat so everyone seemed pleased and thank you so much for attending the webinar.